Happy Hunger Wednesday, everybody. I just wanted to throw a quick video out there, just a, an update. Uh, nothing real fancy, not a whole lot of editing here. Just a couple minutes, because I, I haven't put one up in a while. And I just wanted to show you guys what I've been working on. Um, I've been brewing a lot on the, this new system over here. Yeah. Show you guys here. Whoops. Sorry about that. So, uh, we got a about five brews in on it. Five or six, I think, is what I've done in the last uh, few months. I just didn't get a lot of opportunity because we're trying to sell our house. You know, I took a new position, so uh, being relocated to uh, North Carolina. So uh, yeah, so I have, it's been a lot of a lot of hectic work around the house, trying to get everything together, trying to get it looking nice for for sale. We've had a lot of foot traffic. So uh, we just hope and pray that it'll go quickly so we can uh, get down there quickly. Um, but an unfortunate thing happened on my last brew this week. I was brewing my um, orange Kolsch beer. It's a new beer I'm trying to make. And uh, so, uh, yeah, this happened. Um, so the kettles are from Spike Brewing. Excellent kettles, by the way. And this has been a great false bottom that uh, came with the set. Uh, it's actually got cheers etched in it. I don't know if you can see that um, in the light there. But uh, the handle popped off. The, uh, the welds kind of gave gave out on it. Sorry about the lighting. Yeah, so uh, fortunately, I, um, I spoke to Ben, and he just, he just said, go ahead and mail it back, and he'll repair it and send it back over. So... I guess that's something that's not very common to happen, but the, somehow the welds just kind of gave out. Fortunately, it happened after I was done. Um, I was trying to clean out the mash down and lift, went to go lift it up and popped off. So, yeah, so that sucked. So, needless to say, I won't be brewing next week. Um, I got work this weekend. I'll be mailing this uh, false bottom out and try to get the new one back in hopefully next week, and then the following week I'll be back on the horse again. Um, I did manage to get three brews done in the last couple of weeks, so I'm trying to build up my pipeline again, because we did run out of beer, unfortunately. When I bought a case of Boddington's to kind of pull me over until one of these is ready. But I have a chocolate cherry stout that I brewed. That one's an extract. That friend of mine gave me this calendar, and each month has a new recipe on it, so I figured I'd give that a try. Uh, I'm also making a peach blonde ale for a friend of mine. Um, the blonde ale is uh, done fermenting, so next week I'll go ahead and add the peaches to the secondary and see how that comes out. And then the, the uh, orange colch that I made, so that's uh, that was just made on Monday, so that is now in its primary fermentation stage. So, And there they are. There's the uh, peach blonde ale on the left and the chocolate cherry stout on the right. As I said, primary's done. They've been in there about a week and a half. So here in a few more days, I'll go ahead and get them over to the secondary and get the fruit in there. Oh, and uh, one last thing I forgot to mention. Um, so the SJ Pour Challenge was announced uh, last week. So uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to enter again. I entered last year. I took, put my watermelon wheat to the challenge. It did okay f you know, for my first uh, homebrew uh, competition. I haven't had one in there before, so it was good to get a lot of your feedback. I'm definitely going to enter something else. Um, now, what's interesting is um, I've never built made a session beer. <laughs> Rex Brewery has not made anything below five percent in the five years that I've been brewing, so this will be this will be different. I'm sure it'll be just fine, but it will certainly break my pattern. So uh, yeah, I look forward to that, and I got to start practicing. So, uh, yeah. So, with that, I'm going to leave everyone. Have a happy Humber Wednesday. And take care. See you soon.